Invercargill student Simon Edwards knows what it's like to live rough. After around three years of living on the streets in Australia, Edwards found a job and earned enough income to move to Invercargill to begin his mission of helping the less fortunate. What I've tried to do is make it like a normal men's jacket, like with a, like a big collar. They can, they can connect together like with Velcro to cover your mouth and that sort of thing. It's got a hoodie that you can pull over to protect your head and that from the weather. And then I thought I might as well go one a little bit further and um, put like a foldable sleeping bag that you can pull out from the back of the jacket and you sort of hop in it. It's just like a sleeping bag really. Before joining the SIT fashion design course, Edwards had never touched a sewing machine. Now he's adding the finishing touches on the first prototype for his jacket. He said one of the hardest factors of homelessness was facing extreme weather and addressing that issue alone could change things significantly for those on the streets. If you're warm then you've got a warm body, you know, then you're able to move around, you can get to places, you can go and see people or you can, you can physically make it to an institution if you like, or, or a homeless organisation. Yeah, you, you're thinking well, you're positive. While Edwards has big plans, he said he can't even afford his own sewing machine and will need support to fund the project. But he said the idea has been well received. From the impressions I'm getting from the people who are actually in those appropriate things that I need to go to are taking me on face value, man, and they're actually listening. And that's, a, that's super positive. With his fashion design certificate coming to an end, Edward said he will be applying for scholarships to continue the work towards helping those in need. Sharon Rees, The South Today.